Hello and uh, welcome to Saki Tech. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to install Ubuntu desktop version onto your computer using VirtualBox. So the first step is to go and download VirtualBox. Make sure you guys download the right version for your operating system. So if you have a Windows operating system, get the VirtualBox for Windows. If you have a Mac, get the VirtualBox for Mac. Just download this thing and install it by following the simple prompts. When it's installed and downloaded, just come and um, come back to this video and we're going to do a step-by-step -step installation of Ubuntu onto VirtualBox in your computer. Okay, so the step number two in this process is to actually go to Google and search for Ubuntu desktop version and download it. So just follow, follow the video and it's showing you exactly what you need to do. Okay, go into the website. Okay, so there's two versions to choose from. Download whichever version that you please, but make sure you get the 32-bit recommended version for maximum stability as you're running this operating system in VirtualBox. What you will be downloading is an ISO format version of this Ubuntu uh, operating system, which you're going to mount using VirtualBox. I'm going to show you right now how to do that. So I hope by now you have installed the VirtualBox. And once you install it, you're going to get a desktop shortcut like you see in my desktop and just launch that. And once you launch it, what you want to do is create a brand new virtual machine and you can give it a name I'm just naming, naming this Ubuntu desktop make sure you pick the right type and right version which is automatic if you type Ubuntu desktop okay by default it's going to be the 32 bits and uh, just keep everything as default uh, create a virtual drive Okay, and just pick the option that I'm picking up. Don't worry about anything else. Keep clicking next. Make sure this is a fixed size. Click next. And this is just a summary page of the options that you picked. And just go ahead and create the whole thing. Okay, so in this step, we're just going to mount the ISO Ubuntu image onto the virtual CD drive and this is how you do it just a right click at CD DVD drive choose the disk and choose the right version of the Ubuntu desktop and just double click and OK okay now you can start the system and this is gonna launch the installation of the Ubuntu desktop okay and uh, this is pretty much just uh, follow through the instructions and keep clicking next okay I'm gonna I'm gonna record most of this for you guys so you can follow with me and I'm switching this whole thing to full screen uh, so you can see everything well you know I'm trying to make it as big as possible for you guys okay there you go you can either try Ubuntu without installing you can try Ubuntu that's a great option or you can go ahead and install Ubuntu onto the drive that we created okay I'm just gonna leave these options alone and I'm gonna click next there's no need to do anything fancy right now okay pick that first option click continue okay so you're gonna select the virtual drive we just created to install Ubuntu and the, the, the install process begins. As the install process continues, you can start to actually set up your operating system. I really like this option. So just pick everything English if you're doing the English installation. Click continue. <clears throat> give this system, give your name to the system. Give your computer a name. And just uh, <clears throat> as you keep doing this, click keep clicking continue at the bottom 
Okay, make sure you pick a password. Perfect, so the basic options are ready. Now the system is being installed and I'm gonna be back with you guys once the, the installation bar is complete. You're not gonna miss anything. Okay, so the installation is almost complete and the operating system is about to load. Oh, there we go. Installation complete, click restart now so the system can actually restart. Okay, so the system is now rebooting. Okay, now just press enter when you see this message. Okay, so I pressed enter right now. And the reboot process is completing. Okay, so now we are logging into the user screen for Ubuntu desktop. Pop in your password and press enter. And there you go, your Ubuntu desktop is loading with all the default files and uh, programs. You, you have the, that's the browser, that's the Windows Explorer of Ubuntu desktop. And then you got Firefox installed off the bat, so you can go online, start browsing the web. It's a really nice experience, but this is the Ubuntu desktop. And you also get a, a basic version of Office. Uh, it's not really basic, actually, it's very, very advanced, but it's it's a free version, LibreOffice, Libre Calculator, and, uh, you know, just once you install, just uh, look around, get a feel for this operating system, it's actually a very pretty decent uh, OS. Well, thank you very much for watching this video, guys. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like this video, and uh, click the like button if you like this video, and thanks again for watching. Have a good day. If you have any questions, just pop them down in the comment section below. Bye.